We're here today in a meat microbiology lab where there's a lot of testing going on on meat products. And I'm visiting with Dr. Mindy Brashears, who's a meat microbiologist. And Dr. Brashears, many consumers have questions about superbugs. They're hearing about this in the news. What is a superbug? Well, the term superbugs is really used way too loosely by the media. And the occurrence of a real superbug is very rare. A real superbug is a bacteria that's going to be resistant to multiple antibiotics, not treatable, and it also makes you sick. In reality, by nature, most bacteria do have some amount of resistance, but that does not mean that they are a superbug. Even the FDA says that the, the term is used too uh, inappropriately, and most antibiotic-resistant bacteria do not have a threat to human health. How does a bacteria become resistant to an antibiotic? Well, uh, some are just resistant by nature. So they're just, even uh, if they're never exposed to any antibiotic, they can just be resistant because that's how they are made. They uh, carry genetic material that actually carry the resistance to certain antibiotics. Also, if they're exposed to certain antibiotics, then that they can actually mutate and become resistant. So it's either natural or by mutation. However, if they're resistant to one or even two or even multiple antibiotics, there could be many other ones that could be, uh, they could be susceptible to, and so the bacteria still could be treatable. Okay, so just because they're resistant to an antibiotic doesn't mean they're resistant to all antibiotics. Exactly, yes. Okay, well, what do the data show about superbugs on meat? Well, overall, the USDA testing shows that all bacteria are actually decreasing in meat and poultry products, not increasing. And the number one goal of any meat and poultry processor is to make sure to reduce or eliminate all the pathogens in the product before they are consumed. So if bacteria are present on meat and poultry, does that mean that somehow it was produced in an insanitary way? Uh, no, absolutely not. There is bacteria in the environment everywhere, and as soon as the hide is removed from the, the meat on the animal, then it's going to be exposed to the environment and it can become contaminated with any bacteria that it comes into contact with. Also, there has been a concern with fecal contamination on a carcass. What most people don't realize is that there is a zero tolerance for any fecal or ingesta visible contamination on a carcass, and that carcass is extensively trimmed if it does get on there. It rarely gets on there, but if it does, it's extensively trimmed before it goes on to further processing, and all that contamination is removed from the product. Is there a concern that when antibiotics are used, this could end up in the meat? Uh, no, absolutely not. Uh, antibiotics have to be fed with very strict withdrawal times. And what I mean by withdrawal is that a certain amount of time must pass between the time the animal is given the antibiotic and the time it is processed. And that way there's no residual antibiotic in the meat. Also, we can be uh, sure that it's not there because the USDA tests for antibiotic res residues, and if anything is found, then it's withdrawn from the marketplace. Well, if a consumer is concerned about superbugs or any bacteria on their meat, what should they do? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Cook it and that will solve the problem. Any bacteria that's in meat, whether it's resistant or it's not resistant, will be killed if, it's, if the meat is cooked to the appropriate temperature. So what would you tell consumers about meat safety? I think that our meat supply is very safe. The processors are very interested in, in making sure that the product is as clean as it can possibly be when it gets to the consumer, and they can have full assurance that the U.S. meat supply is a safe source of good source of protein and a safe source of protein.